It's that time of year again. We're here at the 2019 Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. And we're checking out some of our favorite booths that we're gonna find here at the show. Stay tuned. I'm Apple. And I'm Rob. Join us as we seek out new adventures and escape the nine to five grind. We travel by land, sea, and air, searching for fun adventures, best kept secrets, culinary delights, and tasty craft beers. New episodes weekly. Thanks for remembering to subscribe. It's an all-terrain boat. It's a what? All-terrain boat. Look, it's got wheels on the back. Boston Wheeler. Hi, we're in booth 154. This is the Sea Bags booth, and I'm with Carrie. Hi. And if you're ever wondering what to do with some old sails when you change out your sails on your boat, Carrie's going to tell you what you could do and what you can get out of it. Hi there, uh, Seabags is a company that takes old sails and we recycle them and repurpose them into some really fun fashion forward products. Uh, we make everything to order in Portland, Maine. This is our 20th year. Um, we're really excited to be here at the Fort Lauderdale show. It's great to have a presence in Florida, um, even though they're all handmade up in Maine. Uh, we get sales from all over the world. We have a wonderful trade program where you can bring in your old sail and have something made from it. You can have something made directly from your sail or you can choose from another uh, design that we offer. Um, where we make everything to order, you can get pretty creative. Some time ago we acquired that free boat. We got cushions from it and a few odds and end things. And there was some one, one main sail that was in okay condition but it had a big old tear within it. And I remembered last boat show, I had met her and saw these boat, these bags and freaked out. We traded in our sail, and actually today we're gonna pick our bag up. So which bag Very do exciting. I get from my sail? So where you traded in a medium sail, you'd get to pick from any one of our medium standard totes. Okay, which would be what? Let's so see. our medium standard totes are this size here. Um, That's not bad. We have a lot to choose from. We do do some. Uh, Right now we currently have a Seabag sailing tote that promotes our women's sailing team. Um, they're, they just sailed the J24 Nationals in Miami. They're a group of, of wonderful ladies that really perform well out on the water. Um, Amazing. So we do a lot of fundraising events, but yes. Very cool. Okay, so this is an included, is it? Oh, it is? Should I get this one or the blue one? This pink one really is cute. How does it look? Yeah. It has a, a grommet on it, which when we find a piece of the sail or a part of the sail, whether it's a telltale or a reef point, it's really neat that we can include it in the bag. That's right. That is really cool. So if I wanted, I could have had the sail made, the bag made out of my sail. Absolutely. If I wanted, but it didn't matter to me because it wasn't like sentimental. Right. Right. So what do you think? We want to go with this one? It's very neat. I was looking at your website and I thought I saw something about donating to an organization to teach kids how to sail. How do you do that or what's that about? Yes, if you're not interested in a product made from your sale or a product in general, uh, we, work to, we work with a nonprofit called Sail Maine and we fund their scholarship program. They're a 501c3, so in lieu of um, a product or a bag, we actually donate funds to their program to fund their scholarship for kids that are underprivileged to learn to sail. That's amazing. Well, it that's is. really good. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you for stopping by. I love my new bag. Yay. I can't wait to go on the boat with it. <laughs> Enjoy your bag. Thank you. So if you want to come by and see Carrie and check out some of these cool bags, we're at the main entrance of the boat show at the Bahia Mar. Booth. 154. So we're Flightboard and we're setting up operations in the U.S. This is our U.S. launch right now. Uh, we're from Byron Bay, Australia. Uh, we also have operations uh, in Italy. So we're servicing the South Pacific through Australia, uh, the EU, uh, and, and Eastern Europe through Italy, and all of North America through our U.S. operation, which is headquartered in New York. 
So almost anybody can learn how to fly a board in a pretty short period of time. Most people can learn in less than an hour. It's called Spurs. It's a line cutting system for ships and yachts. Basically, it's a piece here that mounts in front of the propeller, right on your shaft. Uh, so anything that wraps around the ship's propeller, such as fishing line or netting, what happens is it winds it down and moves it forward, and that's where we cut it off before it can damage the ship. So that's it. We're checking out one of my favorite things here, that's the aqua zone. With all the Hobby kayaks, flyboards, and everything that uh, the guys over at Nautical Ventures sell. They had a very difficult job. Yeah, I know. Suffering. I have no idea. Yeah, you probably don't get paid enough either. Jeez. <laughs> They got the Hobie Mirage Tandem Island out here. So they got the new uh, 2020 Mirage Rise with the kick-up turbo fan. So if you end up hitting anything, they flip right up. And then when you start going, they'll come back down again. Very cool, huh? online so if I'm not mistaken these are like all electric or pedal electric assisted uh, bicycles that fold up into a real compact size so yeah. now look at that so they go into a they pack down into a little bag that you can bring along with you hi guys yeah this is our new defiant defiant all right yeah. very cool can I ride it yeah you want to yeah absolutely yeah. You have five levels of pedal assist, uh, dual disc brakes, uh, seven speed Shimano gear shift. Um, you know, Sterling Road. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's like someone just got their hand behind you, pushing, yeah. you know? Yep. Very cool. How big is the battery? Uh, the battery is a 10.4 amp 48 volt. So I don't even really have to pedal. You don't. How pedal option. It's optional. Yeah. <laughs> so this this is the world's smallest folding electric bike. The advantage wow. of this one is it's only 24 pounds yeah. and it folds it down super small, so it gets off and on a boat very long, easily. And it still has an eight to ten mile range. Uh, this is the step up, the Discovery. This one you got 16 inch pneumatic tires, extra shocks here, a real cushy seat with extra springs. So this one uh, will go up to 30 miles on a charge. Very nice. And yeah, this one's a lot of fun to run into town and back too, if you can afford the space. Mm -hmm. uh, it folds down, it's not quite as small, but still folds down pretty small. That's it over there. Oh yeah, that, that's very cushy. Feels yeah, very comfortable. Cushy. Yeah. Now I gotta get me one of these. This thing's awesome. Jupiter Bike Discovery. And if you're attending the boat show this weekend, check them out at the convention center just outside the aqua zone. What's that? Bluetooth? Yep. Bluetooth and you can also see it. I think it's ginormous. So it takes up to 3,000 pounds and uh, you can fit eight people comfortably on it. So it's a great time to go out and actually paddle. And then uh, you can bring out coolers and have a great time on it. So it has five tracking fins, so it's the real McCoy. So. Gotcha. Oh yeah, that is pretty thick stuff. Dog nails aren't going to be an issue. Yeah. You know, it bounces off of rocks, stocks, and whatnot. So. What about tipping over? Uh, tipping over, you're uh, if you if you fall down, you literally just stand back up, 
And if this thing, if you're in the water, nothing's gonna flip this over because it's such a big surface area, it actually suction cups to the water, so it's impossible to flip it over. You'd actually have to be touching the ground to push it over. So, wow. Yep. Oh, that's good. So if you take the shuttle to the convention center from Bahiamar or from wherever the, the shuttles are, remember that wherever they dropped you off is not where they pick you up. You gotta go in the convention center and go all the way through the back of door seven until you're back here. And that's where you can pick up the shuttle back over. Let's go check out the Duffies. And, uh... Oh, this one's the one that has a cutty cabin. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, uh, there's a head in there. That's pretty, pretty decent. Yeah. I love this. What do you think? I love it. Let's buy it. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Does it suit? Does it suit me? Yeah. Is <laughs> that what you want? One? Yeah. Are you gonna buy me one or what? Like, yeah. quit, cut the shit already. So these little Duffies, they're 100% electric. Uh, they run them on regular lead-acid batteries. It's kind of like a like a golf cart. So low maintenance, just recharge it and uh, and go. Just a lot of fun. Just go out there. It's peaceful, quiet. You don't hear any noise, and uh, it's just a nice ride. This one is really cool. Yeah, I know. It's really great. It has these. Oh, yeah. For when the weather yeah, starts windows, to, yeah. to get a little uh, Florida like. Ooh. Oh, it has a little a Dometic right here. Alright, that's it for the day. Hope you enjoyed our favorite things of the 60th annual Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show today. We'll be back out here in a day or two, so stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can get notified when we post the next great video.